Hey guys, my name's Russell, and welcome to the first episode of the Grand Review. Today I have brought out my 2011 Mitsubishi Eclipse. It is completely stock. We'll get more into the information later, but now I'm waiting for my colleagues to bring their review cars. This series is going to be about a couple reviews, and uh, hopefully a couple good ones. Speak of the devil, we've got our Mustang driver. Now we've got our Porsche. Alright. Hello, boys. Hello. How do you do, Russell? Yeah, pretty good. Let me put my visor on. You can barely hear me. Um, I think there's a clip on the bottom of the hump. There you go. There you go. Can you hear me now? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. We have yeah, future so... plans of these cars and turning them into... So I just decided to show up in this. Ah, uh, see, so you brought a... What, is, what year is this? This is an Eclipse, It's a right? 2011 Eclipse. Yeah, I brought my 2013 Mustang Boss 302. Looks like you Stock. bought it used, too. I brought, yeah, I brought my, uh, don't quite Those know hood the latches date, don't look that good. 911. Yeah. Um... To inform you, that is a 1985 Porsche 911. Yeah, it came with a couple There's modifications sock. like this in the yeah, front. that's not sock. And I couldn't <laughs> change. You must have bought it used, yeah, this, right? Yeah, I bought it used. Yeah, the, yeah. the looks on it say it's used. Alright, so I think yeah, it's safe but to we say do that have... we, should, we should talk about our prices on our cars. Wait, should we introduce ourselves? Uh, yeah. Alright, you wanna go first? Okay. Do we do um in game prices or real life? Real life. Okay. Alright. Alright, introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Start I with your price. I am Russell. Uh I am uh I'm getting ready to, you know, review this car behind me, this lovely car. Uh there's not I, a lot um... of information on me, but I mean I've got a couple friends, as you can see, and we like uh, cars and shit. Uh huh. So this is gonna be our new review show. Yeah, yep. we, we, we am... decided we decided we would make a review show. Alright. Yeah. So I'm Samuel, and I brought my show? 2013 Boss there too. Yeah, Samuel Houston. Samuel Houston. Yeah. So my name is I got my Mustang. <laughs> my name is Jake, and I'm a race car driver professional. I messed my words up. Nice. Okay, so oh, I feel like prices. there's going to be a lot of insults with the name Jake in it. Okay. All right. So, um, let's talk prices for cars. Would you, uh, how much is your number car, um, your trips cost? My, uh, my Mitsubishi, the price ranges for this car is, uh, $4,849. All the way up to eight thousand and thirteen dollars, but I bought this car at a hefty price of three thousand because uh, I was friends with the owner of this car. Oh, uh, so she is used. Stock in two thousand thirteen, the Boss three hundred two would probably cost around twenty grand, but since it's not two thousand thirteen and it's used, I got it for fifteen. Not 15. a not a lot less, but yeah, it's nice. Alright, uh, my car is not stock of because it's used. Usually yeah. these things go for quite a bit, but I got this for around ninety thousand. <laughs> this wow. is rare of a car for ninety k. Right. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was especially the... modified. Any um, I any mean, I guess changes? the modification. Maybe the modifications would probably take price off the car because it's a yeah, kind it's of a not relic. stock. So. Yeah, I did uh, know the owner. I did. did. I knew him. I wasn't friends with him, but I did know him. So does it have stock um, performance modifications, like stock engine? Just, well, the just, exhaust. Yeah, just the front. The exhaust, obviously. The exhaust is freaking chain. Yeah, well, whatever. The front, the exhaust, and the rear, the just the bumpers and the exhaust. It was about it. Maybe the hood, I think. All right. So it did also. Uh, come here. I don't know if it's stock, but the. Uh, Oh, that's my hood. Yeah, that Apparently. <laughs> mm, I did. Come with racing strut. So that's nice. not stock. No. 
They originally yeah, had one, one in stock, but I added one. Anyways, eye, let's but... see the let's see the engine on this beast. Yeah. What what do they use? A flat six, right? These a boxer, right? Yeah. I think so. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like a boxer. Looks like Don't a get your fingers V6. too close. Yeah. You'll get your you'll get your finger grinded off by the belt. You're right. I can start her up yeah. real quick if you want to hear. Her. Uh, let's yeah, leave that. Let's, let's leave that on our own time. Let's leave that on our okay. own. Okay. Right. Well, here. let me. Um... I've got my car. Yes. And we're packing a a 3.8 liter V6. Wow, I thought those were 3.6. It's a 3.8. Huh. Nice. Hold on, I got a call. All right. Well, he's on his call. Let's uh, let's look at your car. Okay. Let's see. I have. Hold on. Let me pull up the. Thanks. You got a V8. Okay. Yeah, I've got a five. It's a five liter. You know. Nice. Five liter V8. It's got 444 horse, 380 pound of pound feet of torque. Alright, uh, I just got off the phone with Boss. Uh, boss, he said he's going, he's going to give us money to upgrade these cars. But oh, first, we need to review right? and stock. Yes. Alright. He got a very small trunk. <laughs> Your yeah, truck is a little small. weird because I mean, you can, it's, it's, it's. You can probably fit a couple of groceries it's, it's, in there. It, it's not inwards, like this part doesn't open, and it's just the top. Yeah, oh, I see. Weird. Yeah, it's just, it's like right on the hinges. Hey, I guess it How makes it more guys safer bring your racing you suits. These cars are going to be slow as frick. Mine's not, but. Yeah, well, your two okay. might not, but I don't even think I need a racing helmet for mine right now. Well, these are all my brands. I'm just trying to show off my brands, you know? Oh, yeah. These yeah, our brands. We're racers, we got brands. Yeah, I'm the brand. professional All right, guys, here. it's time to do a. It's time, no, 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 no. I drive. We, we drive our own cars. Oh. All right. All right then. So, Mr. Cameron, man. Let's uh, let me go on my review really quick. All right. So today I have the Mitsubishi Eclipse. If you couldn't tell. This thing is uh, very solid, but she's pretty slow. I'm go I'm about to drop the hammer. That's with me dropping the hammer. This thing has a very, very slow acceleration rate, but I think there's a bit of potential with her. At least in my opinion. There is a convertible optional for this called the Spider. And I think that packs a little bit more horsepower. So, hopefully, this thing can uh, live up to its name as an uh, Eclipse. And let's give her a review. So, the price of this car, like I said earlier, could be 4849 or 3008 or 8013 those are my colleagues, I guess they're gonna go speeding ahead because this thing can't really speed. The full name of this car is a 2011 Mitsubishi Eclipse. She's very, very sturdy. But if she's getting rolling star, you better bet your ass she can fall. She weighs around 3,600 pounds. I think the highest is like 3,600. And the lowest it can probably be is 3,300. Miles per gallon on this car in a good day would be 24 miles per gallon. The amount of horsepower that this engine currently packs is 265. Like I said, the engine earlier is a 3.8 liter V6. And she does pretty, pretty decent. You know, she could haul if she wants. So I think I'm going to take her to the test track really quick for a quick lap. And hopefully she can haul. Let's see. 
I will meet you at the track. Okay. Right. Okay, well, well, it's pretty beat up, it looks, but it's used, so it makes sense, I guess. All our cars okay. are used. Are you recording? Tell me when yep. you're recording. Yep, I'm recording. Alright, All so right, I'm here so with my yes. buddy Jake and my other buddy. They're going to be timing me, and I'm going to be racing. Let's see if you remember. I've got one in the car, Jake, obviously, to narrate me. And i got my buddy out here trying to time me. And Houston. And my friend right. smashes my window. window. It's, it's okay, though, up. because Did we're going to be it? fixing that. More it's aerodynamics. Right I needed... I needed... Um, I told you, you I needed... I told you done? I needed some air. Okay. I told okay. you I needed some air. Good thing, good thing this is a used car and we're going to be restoring it after this. Okay, ready? You should break your window. Yep. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Screeching start. He gets a nice start though. Alright, here it comes. First corner. Let's see how he does. Oh, it's seconds. a nice corner. On the two at 13. There's another nice corner. The curve at 20. One. Corner There's three There's another at nice turn. Takes a far right to a nice turn. And boom. 33.60 seconds, mate. 33.60. Did good job. You did good job. Here, here, drive it back to the end parking lot over here. The small parking lot over here. Alright, so I'm gonna park this car up there. And let's see what the other boards uh, are. Okay. Here we are in our used 302 uh, Mustang Boss. Uh, it's a nice little car. It's a little bit heavy, but it can accelerate. It's got a 5 liter V8 engine. Let's just pass up this little Prius. Oh, and there he goes. The idiot. I'm going to pass up. And this is a nice car. The interior is pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Um, the dashboard has carbon in it. I have a perfect view of all my dials. And yeah, it's pretty nice. The seats are comfortable. But yeah, it's got 444 horsepower. And this thing rips. That six speed manual. Ring out. Pretty neat car. Handling wise, it's it's okay. It's a little bit loose, um, but it it can manage. Traction is eh, it's okay though. Um, shifting. Sometimes when it gets to a high rev, it just sits there for a while. It's a little bit ridiculous, but yeah, it's nice. It's got these nice window vents back here. Yeah, let's see how it rips on the highway. It can also drift pretty well. Let's see it. 80 miles per hour. 90. We're hitting 100, baby. Look at this thing go. Still moving up. 110. 115. Woo! It was still going up, and I had to slow down. Dear God, what a blithering idiot. Yeah, this thing's pretty fast, and it's completely stock. Once I feel like once I upgrade it, it's gonna, it's gonna be a real bullet. It's a car with plenty of potential. It's got small tuning capabilities, but unless it's still can be tuned. Something nice about this is um, we have a button here, and if we, oh, we're not gonna mess with it right now because we're moving. But if we press it, it'll um, start launch control, which is a really neat little thing. But then we're not gonna need to use launch control if we upgrade it because this thing will be front wheels up, no problem. But overall, this is a very nice vehicle. As an everyday vehicle, the um, trunk or boot is a little bit small, but you can still put your groceries in there. Um, only got two seats. The back seats are just 
really hard to fit, and you can only fit a small child in there. Steering wheel, it's a little bit rough, but it's nice to change that out. Um, air conditioning works. And yeah, it's a very nice vehicle overall. Yes? Hey, uh, isn't it about time you head back and uh, we do our lap? Yeah. Alright, I'll see you there. So I'm Three. here with uh, I'm here with uh, Jake and I'm here with also Samuel. I'm going to be in the car narrating. You, uh, and I will be timing. All right. So uh, three, two, one, go. This thing pops. We have a really nice start accelerating. Accelerating. We're about to hit the first turn. Has to Nine oh, seconds. slightly drift that turn, but we managed to recover. 13 seconds. Second corner, not bad, not bad at all. We have a little bit of a curve coming up. See how it takes seconds. that. 24 seconds. Sharp left, slightly drifts. Corner three, corner four, another drift slightly. And time. 33.60. Dude, Dude, that's the same time. That's the same time he got. It's the same Dude, time I got. Hot damn. I'm not really sure if I can double clap. Just is that was that my practice lap? No, that was your real lap. <laughs> okay. All right. So. Where are you? So now it's time for Jake to give his review on the Porsche. Hi, I am Jake. I am going to be reviewing the Porsche 911. It has a box engine. It sounds really nice. It does like to split, split, uh, spit flames. It has a wide body kit attached. It's not fully stock. The guy I bought it from has put some modifications on it. And since I don't know very much about this car, I'm going to have Samuel read you out some of the parts through comms. Okay, so this 1985 Porsche 911 has a flat six boxer engine. Um, it's got about 207 horsepower and 192 pound feet of torque and it weighs about 2,268 pounds. Um, yeah, it's a pretty nice vehicle. And I'm gonna leave with the rest of the, um, review to you testing it out all right so oh, it right. does have a good it has good acceleration it has good braking oh, God. it has good as you can see handling oh very good steering it's, yes very good all right take a right um, the highway test I think we're gonna take a left up on the highway and uh, test out with some speed All right, as you can see, the, the start, it's going fast. Uh, don't mind that. What about the speedometer? Um, the speedometer, it goes up to about uh, two, almost, it's 210 for some reason. I don't think it'll go that fast. Air conditioning works, everything works in the car. Mm, it, it really revs, it goes yeah, pretty fast in my opinion. Um, other than that, it's pretty much stock, it's clean, it's really good. I like it's it personally. Very stylish. I would say it's overall nice. Yeah, it does, a little, it does pretty good at off-roading. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? I'd say it's about time to bring it back to the track. Yep, that's where we're going. Get your record done. All right, so I've got Samuel recording the time, and I've got Jake here ready to do his practice lap. Now, keep in mind, this isn't really fair. Not really because I have a Porsche, but I am a professional race car driver. I take lefts all day, so. <laughs> Left. Uh, you're a NASCAR driver? Excuse me. 
I do both. It's, it's I'm an orca and I'm a racer. So, all right. All right. Are I'm you ready? ready to start your lap? All right, all right. I'm gonna count me down. On go. Three, two, one, go. All right. So we've got a pretty good acceleration. We're revving up to the high RPMs. This is very nice. At for turn one, we're at seven, eight, ten. This thing corners very well. I wonder how it's going to do fully modded. 17. 19. Ooh, third corner. Not the best. Looks like the bumper's starting to fall off. We're gonna have to fix that once we get back 25. to the office, but... And time. 28 seconds. 28. Not you bad. You have a fast car. Not, okay. Well, it's not All right, much compared hot. to our 30. <laughs> Let's hop out and let's hop out and uh, say goodbye for this part for the, of the episode. Well, so this is um, part one. Now that we've done our laps and uh, now that we've done our laps and reviewed our cars, all the terrible disappointments time to end. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, I would say the Penumbra did decent. I wouldn't say it did the best though, because of the slow acceleration rate but it managed to keep up with the with the freaking dominator or should i say the mustang it did yeah, surprisingly well, well in my <laughs> opinion all right let's see what uh let's uh let's see what a uh, demon has to say about his car yeah uh overall it's really good it had handles nicely i i did a little bad on the turns i i braked a little early but um other than that, the interior's nice, everything's nice. I like it, can't wait to see the baby modified. Alright, now we've got our Mr. Ford Mustang. Wanna hop out the car? Well, I actually am really surprised by the performance of this. I mean, I couldn't keep up the Porsche, but keeps up with a sports class vehicle. Yeah, the Penumbra. And it, it accelerates really well. It actually almost popped up the front end. And it handles surprisingly well for its weight. But yeah, I'm excited to upgrade this thing and see how it handles. And if you guys are curious about the parts and stuff, we will be fixing it back at our shop. So, I mean, it's, it, it's not really going to change a lot. All right, I'd say that's a... Uh, Wrap. All right.